Tinga Tinga is a painting style found by a Tanzanian contemporary artist Edward Stade Tinga Tinga, which commonly expresses wild African animals, birds, and village life. So Tinga Tinga is basically named after Said Tinga Tinga because he was the one who introduced the art. He was the one who is supposed to be created the art, even though it came from his tribe. But for him to introduce it in Tanzania and make young people get a living through it, so it was he was honored to for the painting to be named after him. That's why that's why it's called Tinga Tinga. Kwanza tu kwanza na jina Tinga Tinga lenyewe ni ni jina la mwanzilishi wa ikazi ambayo alikuwa naitwa Edward Said Tinga Tinga. Baada ya kufariki mwaka sabini na mbili kwa hiyo tukaona tuchukue jina lake kama kumbukumbu ye ni mwanzilishi kwa hiyo ndio maana tukawa tunaita hiyo tinga tinga it was a traditional thing from where he comes from but when he came to the city and introduced it he was the starter of this tinga tinga ni mcholo ambao sio 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 haswa sio mchoro haswa wa, wa, wa kitu kwamba unaweza kilinganisha kikafanana tinga tinga ni mchoro ambao una, unafananisha yani kitu kinakuwa kinakuwa sawa sawa na mnyama au sawa sawa na mtu kwa sio kitu halisi from the way tinga tinga used to paint our animals it was so important because it clearly showed how one could simply explain a zebra for instance as a white donkey with black strips for example, a question like, have you seen buffalo? Tinka Tinka would answer it by saying, it's a huge and heavy animal with very strong horns. To express this, Tinka Tinka would draw the oversized horns that would overlap the drawing board. Tinka Tinka explains a monkey as an animal with hands like a human being and a smile face. I first saw his work when I was teaching at the University of Dar es Salaam and I was struck by how vivid uh, the characters were, just really drew me uh, uh, to his work. Um, I liked his animal work a great deal because of the vivid colors which I think is very typical of Africa and reminds me very much of equatorial Africa, the vibrancy and the warmth of Africa. I think he captures that, he kind of embodies that. It's very much folk art but at the same time it's something very contemporary, which uh, I think he kind of crosses that and makes them very appealing both to Africans and to uh, the Western uh, eye. But what strikes me the most about his work is his um, political and social and cultural commentary work rather than his animal work. And in that I find he is very uh, much an advocate, very much a, um, a, a motivator of change and part of the change which is occurring uh, in Africa and Tanzania specifically and that is remarkable and that's why I think his work is very important um, you know for not only for Tanzanians but also for for others to understand Tanzania and what Africa is going through so it's kind of a documentary or um, a way of marking the change and evolution of, of, of Africa which is very impressive